Another Destiny launch exotic, the Titan exotic helmet, the Helm of Inmost Light, was always considered a fringe exotic, meaning it was usable, but never really offered enough to dethrone the already proven Titan exotics, like the Armamentarium, the Crest of Alpha Lupi, and later on, Ruined Wings and Twilight Garrison. Interestingly, given there was only two subclasses at the time, the Helm of Inmost Light was the only striker-specific vanilla exotic, with all other striker-specific exotics arriving later, like the Eternal Warrior, the Peregrine Greaves, and the god-awful Mark 44 standasides. So the Inmost Light has clearly been around for a long time, but has never received any change to its exotic perk. Since this helm is class specific, there's only going to be a few builds to consider. But firstly, the perks I would suggest to roll in on the inmost light would probably be Ashes to Asset and better already. I settled for a PvE roll of Inverse Shadow since the stat roll was at 97%, but since I rate this helmet higher in the Crucible, Ashes to Asset probably a better choice. The exotic perk grants Death from Above and Headstrong for Fist of Havoc, so you are simply getting two subclass notes for free, which means you'll get to have multiple notes from several skill trees. I like to build my inmost light titan with a 5-5-2 configuration, with subclass perks like lightning grenades, shockwave, overload, transfusion, and unstoppable. I usually run overloads to have a low strength build, and overload compensates for that, but other perks like shockwave and transfusion are fairly optional. I would rate these perks higher than aftermath and aftershocks, but I have seen those used effectively too. It'll be up to preference, but I also like to use unstoppable for death from above Fist of Havocs, since you are going to be exposed for a longer time. The viability of Death From Above will depend on how well you can judge the leap distance, how well you can maneuver, and how much damage you can soak up before dying. In PvE, Death From Above is really open to preference. It's not bad, but I very rarely find myself saying, oh I would've supered that guy if I had Death From Above on. I have messed around with it a little bit, but for the most part, Death From Above for me is used as a novelty or a specific purpose. By specific purpose, I mean like how my clanmate legend always switches from Defender to Striker in the Gorgon Maze in Vault of Glass, just so he can have Death From Above ready to leap over the jumping puzzle. Outside of using Death From Above for mobility reasons, I have a hard time justifying its use over Shockwave in PvE. Wearing this Helm of Inmost Light grants the best of both worlds, but when I could be using Twilight Garrison, Armamentarium, or Rune Wings instead, I'll give the Inmost Light a miss in PvE. Before I move on to the Crucible, the other perk featured on this exotic helm, being Headstrong, is a bit underwhelming. While getting increased sprint speed and lunge distance for Fist of Havoc definitely plays into the design of this helm, I still feel like this was a wasted opportunity. My idea would have been grant Death from Above and Aftermath for Fist of Havoc, then you could use Shockwave in the skill tree to completely max out your super's potential. Anyway, I don't rate the Inmost Light very highly for PvE, outside for some very select uses. Alright, now for PvP. Death from Above can be incredibly useful at catching people off guard at a distance, since it allows you to use Fist of Havoc well outside shotgun and melee range, and fly in for an attack. Since the Titan already is decent at moving at high speeds and climbing to decent heights, Death from Above does work in tandem with that. Its power will ultimately depend on how well you can judge distances, so as to not fall too short of a group of enemies or completely fly past them. So my recommendation for this helmet will probably be for veteran Titans who know the entire subclass from the ground up, know specifically how each ability works and how to optimize them all together. The problem is, most veteran Titans would already be using the stronger and more potent exotics, like the Armamentarium and Twilight Garrison. I'm definitely not a Titan veteran, but I still prefer using one of the other exotics I just mentioned over the helm in most light. I've had plenty of success just using Shockwave from the skill tree and making do. And while Death from Above can definitely have its moments in the Crucible, and I've seen it used to great effect, I would probably give it a miss for the Crucible too. So if you've had some success with Death from Above, let me know in the comment section below. Thanks for watching, catch you guys in the next vid.